From the upcoming Avatar crossover to a hidden secret about Maida's yacht, these are 30 secrets and easter eggs in Fortnite Season 2. With the newest update, Fortnite has added an upcoming POI that has a huge secret. This iceberg is going to slowly approach the island and when it arrives we will get the new Avatar crossover including challenges, a mini pass, free rewards, and most importantly the Aang outfit. We're not just getting cosmetics for Avatar because once our new secret skin Korra is unlockable we'll also receive a new mythic. This is the waterbending mythic, which allows you to shoot water effects at enemies, and this mythic looks awesome. This isn't the only crossover to look forward to, because May the 4th is right around the corner, and we always get some sort of new Star Wars collaboration. And we may have got a hint at our next Star Wars collab, because the addition of Chewbacca seems very likely, as it has been leaked we will be seeing the addition of a new Star Wars mythic called the Wookiee Bowcaster. The Wookiee Bowcaster isn't the only mythic we can expect though, because on May the 4th we always get the addition of lightsabers, and because we haven't got to use these yet on the chapter 5 map, this should be a lot of fun. In the meantime, there's a ton of awesome mythics you can use, with one being the Thunderbolt of Zeus. Many people don't realize that this mythic has a special damage animation, and when you hit someone with this mythic, it fries them into a skeleton. This actually might be one of the coolest mythics ever, so if you want to pick it up, you can find it at Mount Olympus. While you're there, be sure to check out this incredible detail, because as you approach the entrance, you'll see these dubs fly away. It's a really cool detail, and you can see how much Fortnite has evolved over the years. It's not the only unbelievable detail, because if you go to Mount Olympus on the highest settings, you will be able to see fish in this fountain, and if you jump in, they will react and swim away from you. One really cool tip about this spot is you can actually use a fishing rod to get shields. Now, if you head over to the River of Sticks, the first thing you'll likely notice is this statue. This may look like an ordinary statue, but this is actually Karen. Karen is the ferryman of the underworld, and he helps people get across the River of Sticks in a boat, and believe it or not, this character is actually getting its own Fortnite outfit. With the recent Fortnite update, we saw a ton of leaked skins, and it turns out in Fortnite's universe, Oro is actually acting as Karen in the underworld. He has a boat backlink called Stick Skiff and a paddle pickaxe called Steigen Ore. I don't know about you, but I can't wait for this to come to the item shop. On top of that, with the new update, we have a ton of new details related to Midas, with the first being the new name of the yacht. Midas named the yacht Marigold after his wife, which we found out through this dialogue you get if you talk to Marigold while wearing Ascendant Midas. Midas has completely taken over the yacht since his escape, and if you go check it out, you'll see it's all black and gold and features a giant Midas statue, an open vault, and a ton of shadow logos on the TVs. Most importantly, if you eliminate Midas, you will get the Mythic Drum Gun, which is one of the best weapons in the current loot pool. Midas isn't the only returning character though, as it has been recently leaked that Kratos is returning to the game. It's been over a thousand days since Kratos and the Leviathan Axe have been available for purchase, but after years they'll finally be available. There's been a ton of rumors that Kratos will appear in the item shop alongside his son Atreus as an outfit, and we may even get a young Kratos skin, but that's just speculation. Speaking of the God of War, there's actually another similarity between Kratos and Ares. Believe it or not, Kratos was designed by Charlie Wen, who is the chief creative officer for Fortnite. Because of this, Fortnite put chains on Ares' wrist as a reference to Kratos having chains on his wrist. Even cooler, Kratos received these chains when he obtained the Blades of Chaos, which were given to him by Ares himself. This is a really cool nod to the God of War series. If you've been waiting for the Ares outfit to come to the game, thankfully you won't be waiting for long because he will be our featured skin for April's crew pack. On top of that, you'll also get the Warrior's Cape Back Bling and the Immortal War Doru Pickaxe. One cool easter egg you easily could have missed is if you look at this part of Mount Olympus, you will see a ton of soldiers facing Zeus, but what you might have missed is that one of these is actually Potassius Peels. One that isn't quite as hidden as that though is this statue that you can find in the center of Mount Olympus. This is a clear reference to the Atlas statue, but his face has been replaced with Meow Schools. Honestly, I'm not surprised Meow Schools was strong enough to pick this thing up. And if you look inside, you can actually see constellations of each of the new Battle Pass characters. One thing you may not have noticed is that a lot of the skins were changed from their concepts this season, and most notably is Odyssey. This outfit was completely changed, and now her helmet closely resembles the Ageless. This outfit is really cool, and some players may not realize that this outfit is actually reactive based on your level and rank. Let's hope the other skin concepts don't get changed, because the concepts that are leaked all look sick. We actually have a ton of leaked skin concepts that we know are releasing this season because they're all Greek themed, with the best ones being Hermes, Apollo, Hephaestus, and this Titan outfit. One easter egg you can find at Mount Olympus is this desk with a book on it. Although it's possible this could mean nothing, the book has some writing on it, and throughout the years in Fortnite, small details like this have meant a 
lot to the storyline. We can probably assume this belongs to Zeus and we can only wonder what this means. Before you leave Olympus, be sure to check on top of the main statue on the sword. If you land here and get really close, you'll notice that the Coral Buddies have appeared in Mount Olympus. Good luck getting down from there. It's not shocking to see a reference to Coral Castle since we recently got Poseidon in game, but it isn't the only reference because if you use Poseidon's new emote, you'll notice it's the same sound from the shells at Coral Castle. While we're on the topic of emotes, one thing a lot of people have noticed is that if you approach Artemis, she may be doing the Herald's emote, which showcases the Chapter 3 map, which was codenamed Artemis. Believe it or not, all of the Fortnite maps have been named after Greek mythology, with Athena, Apollo, Artemis, Asterios, and now Helios. Hopefully with other Greek characters being added to the game, we can get more references. Another easter egg that happened with Artemis was during the new trailer when it showed Artemis looking through a sniper scope, and this was clearly a callback to when Sloane did the same thing in the Fortnite Wilds trailer. This scene actually confused a lot of fans as players zoomed in on the reflection of the scope and saw what they thought to be Luffy from One Piece, but it turned out it was just Wrangler. This was kind of a bummer and hopefully someday it'll happen, but one person that wants his own skin in Fortnite is Dr. Phil as he made this video. <laughs> Fortnite creators, what do I gotta do to get my own character? I mean, come on, Eminem's got three. I need my own character. Come on. I don't know about you, but I think Dr. Phil would be an awesome crossover. Make it happen, Epic. He's not the only person rallying to get his own Fortnite skin because Stephen A. Smith recently has been dropping his Fortnite knowledge on his show and even said he wants his own skin in Fortnite. I want my own Fortnite skin. Get it together. I mean, with Fortnite's recent partnership with Disney, who owns ESPN, it may be possible. One insane in-game detail you may have missed happens with a Dr. Vendorbot outfit. When downed using this outfit, the hologram hair and face is removed, and all you can see is his metal helmet. When revived, everything turns back on. The realism with this outfit is incredible, I have to give Epic credit. The attention to detail doesn't stop there, because if you look at Zeus DMR and zoom in on the safety, you'll see a lightning bolt and a cloud. This is an obvious reference to Zeus, and it's awesome to see Fortnite giving these weapons some character. But while you're fighting Zeus to try to get these mythic items, there's one thing you need to look at. If you look really closely, you can see he actually carries a locket, and if you go into theater mode and zoom in, it turns out the locket actually shows Aphrodite in an edit style we don't currently have have in game, meaning this could be a leak of one of the upcoming secret edit styles. I'm not gonna lie, this was a crazy hidden detail. One spot on the Fortnite map you want to check out is at this spot in the underworld by the ocean. There's a table that appears to be set up here for a date and you have to wonder who these were put here for. While you're at the underworld you can go underground and there's actually a TV and a couch, so maybe somebody is camping out here waiting for things to settle. Or maybe they're just waiting on the addition of first person mode. This has been leaked to be coming to the game for years, but Fortnite officially announced it will be coming to the game this year. And later this year, we're happy to finally announce that we're going to release the highly requested first person camera. So prepare yourself because this feature is going to be a game changer. But that was actually the last secret of this video. If you enjoy this video, you'll probably like the one on screen now and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Later.